Okay, so I didn't spend a lot of time formatting this chart. Get over it. We got RPMs on the bottom and horsepower torque on the left, 0 to 50. And we're comparing the 275 and the uh, 308 cam. So this is torque up here on the top, the red and green. The red is the 275 and the uh, green is the 308. And remember the uh, 275 is better below 5,000. And the 308 is better above about 5,200. You can see them diverge right here. Where they, I think it's raining outside. Hold on, that that guy's hay is gonna be ruined. Hold on, I swear I told him how to make hay and they don't listen to me, so now his hay's getting rained on. Oh well. All right, so anyhow, so uh, you can see they're really close, and uh, you know for the dangers of using the uh, 275 to get this extra torque and horsepower, it's almost not worth it. And I'll show you why here in a second. Then we have the actual horsepower for the 275 and 308. You see the yellow line here that's just below the blue line. The yellow line is the 308. The blue line is the 275. You're like, oh, I get a little bit more horsepower. But here's the reality check. This line right here, this is how much horsepower the propeller needs. I'll show you what kind of propeller and all that in a second. This is what the, the propeller needs. So it could care less about all of this over here because it has no needs for any of that power. What it needs is where we... Uh, you know, selected a propeller for this maximum 3,000 RPMs, and I picked one that would work at 3,000 RPM and provide thrust. And uh, once you take off, the propeller no longer cares what engine you have. You could have whatever. It doesn't need anything. This uh, blue line right here shows all the extra available horsepower to that propeller. So this is all reserve horsepower from the engine that's not being used by anything, okay? So as we look at this, at 4,000 to 4,200, looks like a pretty sweet spot if we wanted to have an Ivo prop and cruise right there. I and mean, you could do it anywhere, but this is the highest available unused horsepower. Um, I didn't really look at it to see what happens if, should we use it where it crosses? Maybe, I don't know. I haven't really studied or analyzed this. I just did it a minute ago for the first time ever. Uh, but you can see what I was saying. The propellers uh, diverge from the horsepower, okay? As you pull the engine back, it could care less. You've got all, yeah, I mean, the engine just run really cool. It's not being loaded down at all, okay? once you take off uh, so that you know again that one to three minute takeoff high rpm that's your danger area on your engine that's where you load it down the most and then you start pulling it back and it should just run and run and run so uh, I hid underneath this if I can grab it I hope I can because I've got my stupid screen software on here hold on I had to tweak it down a little bit so I can get this out of the way so watch this and be amazed <laughs> uh, it's a three blade prop it's 53.58 diameter, and I think even an ultra prop can go 3,000 if it's under 55 inches. It has a 22.3 inch prop or pitch, and the thrust is 278.43 pounds. That gives you 55 knots and 63.3 miles an hour, totally FAA legal at max power. Then, you pirates out there decided to put an Ivo prop on it, and you studied my little chart over here. Okay, and you went, oh, look at all that extra horsepower. Let's do something with it. And so you came in here and you put your Ivo prop in and you just said, well, from 4,000 to 4,200, let's do something. So at 4,000, you set it at 38.1 pitch. And at 4,200, you lowered it down a little bit. And uh, the result is uh, 80.1 miles an hour to 79.3 miles an hour, 152 to 168 pounds of thrust. Okay? So I'm telling you, I'm building the ultimate engine and the ultimate prop combination to make a a uh, ultralight that is cross-country capable. <laughs> okay? There you go.